Hey guys, and welcome to the Chop Tater Ship. So, today we're doing something a little bit different. I received my Leap Motion the other day, and of course, the first thing that I thought of was how does it work with gaming? Um, namely, first person shooters. So, I looked on the Airspace store. Airspace? Yeah, Airspace. And I initially couldn't really see anything, but then I came across a app called Game Wave, which is pretty cool. Uh, it allows you to set up uh, custom profiles for different things. Um, even just using Windows or Mac, whatever. Um, so the way it works is you have two hands, you use both your hands at the same time, and they both have a trigger mode or a steering mode. The way the trigger mode works is you swipe up and it performs a single action, like presses a key, or you swipe down, swipe left, swipe, swipe right, circle left, circle right, that kind of stuff. And depends uh, if you have one finger, two fingers, three fingers, you can set it all up like that. Um, the way steering mode works is you can set it up to work like a mouse or a gamepad. So, for example, with my right hand, I'll just get it in here now. Okay, so my right hand, I'm using the leap now, I've got that set up like a mouse. So when I move my hand upwards, it looks up, down, left, right, etc. And with my left hand, I've got that set up like a gamepad. So when I move my hand up, and just keep it there, I walk forward, when I move it down, I walk backwards, left and right, same thing. I've also got it to um, reposition my hands when I put them on their sides, because obviously in an FPS you may be doing full circles sort of thing when you're looking around. So as you're looking around you might go out of the range of the leap motion and it'll start to freak out. So put your hand sideways, bring it back to the center and then start looking around again. Um, also, similarly to when you start to bump into your other hand. So, I've got shoot set to when I close my left hand. Now, I found this can be a little bit confusing um, when you are doing two things with one hand. So, if I'm moving around and trying to shoot at the same time, I might accidentally start moving left or back or right or all over the place when I don't mean it. So, just to show you guys a little bit of basic combat. I'm in Gary's mod, by the way. So, we'll go up here and just shoot some zombies. Yeah, see, that gets quite confusing. It's alright if you're standing still and shooting. But, um... Yeah, it can be pretty difficult. Now, I've only had about half an hour's practice on this so far. Um, but I think, you know, if you put a lot of time into it and played with Game Wave a lot, you could um, come up with some profiles that would be pretty useful. Um, it's just, it would take a lot of getting used to and a lot of practice. Honestly, it's quite difficult to get a hang of. Whoa, he's throwing shit at me. You also notice it tends to jump around a little bit at the moment. Um, I don't know if that's just the leap or the program. Game Wave, that is. Yeah, it's not all the time. Without mouse smoothing, I found it to be near impossible, at least in Gary's mod. It's the only FPS I've really tried it in. Um, but as you can see, I mean, it's quite functional. It's just, again, I've only tried it for about half an hour, so... With a lot of time and practice, you could get probably pretty good. So yeah, that's the general gist of it. Um, I haven't programmed, like, any jump or reload or use or anything. Um, which is a bit of an issue because with a steering mode, you can't switch to the trigger mode, or you can't use them both at the same time. They have to be separate, so you're kind of limited to what you can do. Like, you can angle your your palm upwards or downwards or sideways, as I said before, like, really um, and you can make that do stuff as well. But, um, yeah, it's fairly limiting in that sense. So it would be nice to see some sort of integration of the two. Um, like, I don't know, if you move your hand a bit faster, it'll go to the trigger mode or that kind of thing. There could be a way to do that, but I haven't found it yet. As I said, I haven't played with it all that much. But, um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with its, its capabilities. It's just, again, not much experience with it so far, and... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I haven't been able to play with it too much. But, uh, yeah, so that's a quick look at the Leap Motion in an FPS. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, favorite, subscribe, 
share all of that social stuff and yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed